and welcome to Ascot for the snail race of the century. Here we have the, today's two contenders. Let's have a look. In second place, we've got Snaily McSnailface in the back here, who isn't quite coming out of his shell, metaphorically or literally. He's just sitting there. But have a look at the first place uh, leader at the moment. Oh, it's a. Uh, um, Mr. McSnaily Jr. McPhee McSnail McDonald and he's oh he's come up against a bit of grass he's not quite sure how to navigate that but he's doing really really well at the moment he's he's almost four inches ahead <laughs> he looks like he's stopping for a snack oh Oh, here he goes. He's, 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 he's navigating the blade of grass. He's going to climb over the blade of grass, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, here we have it. Climbing over the blade of grass. He's really going for it. Is he going to... Oops, he's hit another blade of grass. Oh, dear. That's not good on this lawn. There's blades of grass everywhere. He's going for it. Is he going to eat it? No, he's just going to climb over it. But can he pull his huge green shell house over with him? Can I stop? Oh my goodness, here we are back again, five hours and 30 minutes later, and look at the difference! Snaily McSnailface is almost a fifth of the way from the finish line. He rocketed up this two feet distance. <laughs> but look at Snaily McSnail McDonald, he's gone nuts! He's gone off the track, either that or he's already won and come all the way around here and now he's wooing the fans. It's been an amazing race here today at Ascot and we look forward to seeing you again next year. Goodbye. Goodbye.